NBA, and now you've got a defensive anchor added to the equation there. Carl Towns still there, and D'Angelo Russell, that Minnesota squad who made the playoffs this year, or made the play in. It'd be real fun to watch. Yeah, they did make the playoffs this year. A lot of people had an issue with them celebrating. I was not one of those people. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, that's why we that's why we watch sports. That's why we watch sports. I, I don't like that too cool thing either. I, I like letting loose when you have some success, especially when it doesn't come every day. But the Just, memes on Twitter were fantastic yeah. when it came to that, though. That's where the internet is undefeated. I agree with you guys, but it was also fun to watch the reaction. Yes. Booyah! From downtown. And Miami back up by one. We got a nice finish coming up with five minutes to go. So what's it going to look like when the Sacramento Kings make the playoffs this year for the first time in 16 years? <laughs> You know, I'm, I see I'm, some players up on the table. Mark, I'm not one. I'm not one to really bash. Okay. I try to analyze. I try analyze to them, compliment. I try to praise great players, but, but, uh -oh. I do bash the Kings. Okay. <laughs> Got so, Mike sorry, Brown I, and his championship rings there now. So, JJ, I want to tell you, I have done summer league through the championship game with Mark Jones for several years now. I don't. I'm just going to say there may have been a little more pep in his step last year when the Sacramento Kings were receiving that trophy from me at the end of yes. uh, Summer League. Right? I get it. The reigning it. Summer League champs. Do you do you, do you go into every season thinking playoffs? You know what? I, I think this year with uh, Mike Brown, yeah. with his defensive acumen and what he can get done at that end of the floor, they're going to be much improved. And they've turned over the roster. Monty McNair has hit on another draft pick in Keegan Murray. I think they're set up at least to be in the play-in scenario at the very least potentially I, i'm gonna bet they'd be seven or eight in the playoffs winston off the double screen those fans in sacramento i tell you deserve it they're some of the most loyal fans you'll find across the league out of bounds it'll be miami basketball up by one 415 to go and i'm guessing both these teams and coaches respectively are going to go into execution mode <laughs> It's a one-point game. It's a one-point game. The Heat, despite the struggles from the field, have stayed in this game primarily because they've been able to rebound 20 offensive rebounds so far. And the Sixers haven't been able to take care of the ball. They've got 20 turnovers. Queen with the crossover, missing, rebounded inside. The putback good. Ellison through the contact. And Philadelphia leads by a point with four minutes to go. Ellison has made some athletic plays tonight. A couple dunks in the first half. And that offensive rebound put back. There's Bouye creating. He relocated, didn't receive the return pass. Six on the shot clock. Here's Bouye up top. Playing with his food. A little step back three. Missed that badly. Ellison quickly on the break. And that's going to be a foul against the Heat with 3.34 to go. 76ers looking for their first win here in Summer League. Sideline out of bounds, Philadelphia basketball. Winston. Nice pass and bucket inside. And there's your guy again, Ellison. Just a timely cut from that right corner. Caught his man with his back to him. And a really good delivery from Cassius Winston. Side pocket three. Bounces around a couple of times. Rebounded by Philadelphia out of bounds. It'll stay sixer basketball with 3.04 to play. Let's see if the Heat... Use a little three-quarter court pressure here to enforce the action. Ron Butler calling for a little bit more ball pressure. Wayne's going to pull it out. Under three minutes to play. Nice 
Nice pass inside. Bay never got it. Heat on the run. They got a four on three. Bouye kicks it out. One more to a wide open jumper. And boy, Marcus Garrett had a golden opportunity and couldn't cash out. Came back up the block. But a foul called in the process. Cassius Winston. Dropping dimes like a bank teller here, JJ. Absolutely. Good pace. The crossover. Finding him right at the last moment. 